bunny. I already lost my size. We're going to do cute little bunny. Hey, Tara. And it's just going to be a silhouette. So I'm going to paint our background a little bit first. We're going to trace our little cute bunny onto our canvas. We're going to add our foil. We're going to paint a cute little tail on his um, honey. And we're going to put some glass on that. Yeah, I don't think that Miss Katie wants me to wear a black dress. She probably doesn't care, but I'm not even going to ask her. It's too late. <laughs> so I have five, four or five dresses on order. So we're going to use some pink which is my dragon fruit color. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some Baloo's Ah, Yes, I need to go to Baloo's. That's where I need to go. Yeah, just add money and stir is right. Right, right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's get a back, just a cute little backdrop done, a little background. I'm gonna do white, add in a little pink that hopefully will make that animal print pop. So we're just gonna start with my white. And we're just gonna get it on our canvas. Just get it on. You can do your sides too. Thank you, Chipper. You can do your sides if you so choose. I rarely do them, especially when I'm live because it just takes time that sometimes we don't really wanna deal with. So, and this canvas is not terribly icky, so it'll be fine. So get white all over. Yeah, I wish I wish I could wear black. I would be, I'd have it made if I could wear black. Kate, if you're listening, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. Okay, so this is that dragon fruit color, the color of my fingernails. I'm just gonna go in and add a little bit of this color. This is gonna be so cool with the animal print. And you notice I'm just kind of making X's and pulling that paint around. I don't want it to be perfect. I don't want it to be lined up perfectly. I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. Hey, Elizabeth, how are ya? And I'm gonna clean that edge up just a little cause I got a little bit of that pink on my edge and I don't want to deal with that. So we'll clean that up a little. There's a car down the street from here, revving its motor and it sounds like it's in my backyard or in my parking lot, but. Okay, so this is all we're gonna do. Oh honey, I got shoes that'll go with any dress, Dad. Absolutely I do. So I'm not worried about shoes. So I'm gonna use my little dryer to, um, yay, Tina. I'm gonna use my dryer to dry this real quick and then we'll go ahead and get started. And obviously I put way too much color on my canvas, but that's okay too. So hopefully this is gonna turn out really cute. Hey Phyllis, how are ya? Yeah, if I could wear the dress that I already have that I found in my um, closet that I never wore to my daughter, my ex-daughter who holds wedding, I would be, it would be awesome. But sadly, not even a Spanx is going to hold all that in. No way, Jose. Pretty sure I was like a size four back then. I didn't even look at the size. I was too scared to. Hey, Jenny. So we're just going to get this dried up. And you can make this background, this pink background, as dark as light. Yeah, I'm going to put it back in the bottle, especially that pink, while we let this cool off. If you don't want it this dark, just use a little uh, less pink and uh, you'll be fine. So I'm gonna scoop some of this back up. 
because I, that's a waste of paint, and I am not about that life. Not lately. Not the way things are these days. Yeah, I was a four. I actually, um, back in the day, probably 10 years ago, was a size two, which was really too skinny. So, I like a, I like to be like an eight. I like the single digits, but I'm not sure if I'll ever be there again. And, you know, I may, I may be okay with that. <laughs> I may be okay with that. Yes. Yeah, sadly, we've probably all been that size many, many moons ago. Okay, so this is nice and dry. It's a little warm, so I'm going to give it just a second to um, cool off before I do my tracer. I'm going to go ahead and use black because I think that's going to blend in too much. Maybe not. I'm going to use the pink. The pink, yeah, I'm okay too, Elaine. I think, you know, if it wasn't for the wedding, I probably wouldn't care too much because I don't feel like I'm a moose or anything, but I would I would like to lose 10 pounds or so. So the pink, the graphite paper is what I got at the art store. And uh, the pink comes from the um, sewing department at Walmart. It came in a pack with uh, like five or six different colors. Thank you, Vera. It came with uh, several colors, but... And I think that's gonna work because I can see. And then that'll minimize some of the blackness. Thank you, Amy. So I'm gonna use my stylus and my pink paper. I'm gonna take a sip because my throat's scratchy. Oh yeah, if you're 5'11", a size four would be definitely not a great thing. Phyllis, I tried my Spanx with that dress. It was not happening. <laughs> so I'm going to line up my little bunny. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm going to tape his little hiney to this canvas. And we're going to put... Yeah, the Walmart sewing department um, is where I got the pink... Uh, paper, the pink transfer paper. It was they had pink and yellow and white, blue, all the colors. Yeah, it definitely depends on your height. I'm five foot six, so I'll, I will tell you this, guys. I, I was I'm five foot six, and when I ten years ago, I probably weighed 120 pounds. I was size two. I was way too skinny. I was way too skinny. All right, so let me transfer. So I'm gonna just slip this pink paper under. This wants to hoop up. And I'm gonna real quick transfer our bunny onto our canvas. So give me one second. Whoop, be still. Get his little cheeks. Little cheeks. Now he does have whiskers, but I'm not going to uh, trace those on. We'll just use our pen to do that. But you do you. And let's get his little bunny feet. Oops, I need to do a better job of that. Go slow. right on the edge, so it was giving me a little bit of a fit. Let me take a peek and see. Oh, I can see him great. The pink worked out. I don't know if you can tell, but the pink looks really good. So you guys remember, like, before I went out of town, I was telling you about my mom had this glass jar that had a bunny painted on it, and it got broken somehow. So she wanted me to repaint it on a canvas. So here's the jar. 
it got broken and this is something that I believe she painted. Yep, it's got her initials on it. So this is the cute little bunny she wants me to paint on um, another canvas. So we may do this next week and put a little glass sunflower on it for her so she could throw her jar away. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna set this aside. And the next thing we're going to do is I really should paint this black on the inside so that if if we miss a spot, it won't be showing pink through. I'm trying to decide if I mind if the pink shows or if I should paint it black. And I think I'm just gonna let the pink squeak through if it does. So we are gonna use foil adhesive. Girl, you know what, Dad? She probably painted this in the 90s. This is probably something that she painted, you know, it's just a mason jar that she probably painted 30 years ago or more, maybe longer. <laughs> so this is a foil adhesive. You can get this from Rima at um, Walls and More by Rima, or by Mimi, Walls and More by Mimi. Could you cut away the jar but leave the bunny part? I might could, but you never know if you can make those cuts. So I may like try to score it and break and uh, salvage the bunny, but we're just gonna paint her one as well. So it'll be all right. So I'm gonna put some foil adhesive on and we'll let that dry. Come on. And I'm just gonna put the adhesive, I'm gonna be kind of generous and make sure I'm covering my tracer lines so that when we put the foil on, it covers the tracer line as well. This is not a great brush for foil adhesive, but I'm going with it. So we're just gonna fill in, just color in, just like in a coloring book with this glue and this is the glue that holds the foil on. And again, you can get foils and adhesive from Rima at Walls and More by Mimi.com or go to Walls and More by Mimi Facebook page. All right, so I'm just gonna keep going, get all this little glue on. Now, just for just uh, for your information, normally if you're doing a foil, you want to paint the background a similar color to the foil. So if it doesn't transfer 100%, for example, if we were using this, and we didn't want any of this pink to show through, you might want to paint the background black. So if it doesn't transfer 100%, you're, what you see behind the foil is the black. But we are going to throw caution to the wind. And if we see a little pink, then we're going to live with that. We're going to live with it. Yes, it does wash out of your brush. It is a water-based uh, size, so it does wash out of your brush. Whew, I had to hold my mouth right for that. And you do want the adhesive to dry all the way, so we might have to have a small time out you don't want to force it dry either. You don't want to heat dry it because what you're doing, if you force it dry with heat, is you're drying that top surface of the glue and the underside of it, like against the canvas, is still wet. It's not drying like the top surface. And then it will pull off on your foil. So you really want it to be nice and dry on its own. Don't try to force it dry. So, let me get his little feetsies. So, we'll find something to chat about while we're waiting. So, 
So you wanna make sure you got 100% coverage because anywhere you don't get glue, the foil is not going to stick. So keep that in mind. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get good coverage, but not overdo it so that it doesn't take forever to dry. We're almost there, guys. All right, one more little spot. There we go. All right, let me brush some of these ridges out. Help it draw faster. All right, so we need, that needs to dry completely. I haven't decided, Deb, if I was gonna sell my llama or not because I just bought a new house. And so I'm gonna probably wait and see if I wanna use it in my house or not. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm scared to do anything yet. All right, so we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna put the top back on my adhesive. I'm gonna backtrack a little and see if we missed anything. Right, Phyllis, what do I use to press the foil down, you can use any hard bristle, like a scrub brush, like a nail brush or something. Normally I just use my fingers or I use, um, I have a little piece of, oh, I didn't even grab it. I have a little piece of a scrubby that I like to use too, because it helps it get down into the crevices. And I don't know what I did with it. I thought it was sitting right here, but I'll have to go fetch it in a minute. So it's like a Scotch-Brite pad, but you can use a, um, like a little nail brush. That helps it get down into the crevices. So let's see. Birthday trip was good. Glad to be home, but I sure do love the beach. The foil comes from Wall, Wall, uh, Walls and More. By Mimi. Uh, I didn't really buy anything, Christine. Um, I mostly just ate a lot. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Richard must be using Madison's um, Facebook page. No, Carol, I'm not, I'm letting this dry, so I'm going to just chat for a few minutes while we dry this. Um, I'm not moving back to Florida. I'm just moving down the street from where I live now um, because uh, my mom, I'm not going to move until, you know, as long as my mom's by herself. So, let's see. Uh... Any cute dab? Yes, we might do a smaller version of that, Wendy. I was thinking about three different versions of this little bunny. So we may do like one with some stencils on it and then one maybe with some dots or flowers or something. So um, we may do a couple different ones. I'm trying to get this dry. Pam, my hip is better. I just pulled a muscle or something, and uh, it does still hurt, but um, it's way better. No, Donna, I do not have a plus one. It's okay to ask, and I do not have a plus one going with me. I'm going with just me, myself, and I. I guess the way it should be. So, I'm going to let I'm going to give that a few more seconds cuz it's still kind of cloudy down here. You want it to be like clear. Becky, um I haven't been to Camp Cape Hatteras. Um so I couldn't tell you. Um 
I was I went to the Outer Banks. If that's that might be what you think you're thinking. Let's see. Thank you, Darby. That was the funnest day ever. I wore a hot pink wig. Uh, my friends bought me a hot pink whip, wig, like a bob wig, like a Julia Roberts wig from, <laughs> from Pretty Woman that they made me wear for my birthday up and down the street. And I had so much fun with that wig. I can't even tell you. I really wanted to just keep wearing it. I'm just gonna put a little air on this. I really wanted to keep wearing it, but it was like fun and ridiculous all at the same time. <laughs> That's right, Charlene. Me, myself, and I. Hey, Donna. We're just trying to get our I'm trying to get it dry without forcing it dry too much, our uh, foil adhesive. I'll let that cool for a minute. Yes, it is Darby the night I hurt my hip. And I'll tell you um, what happened. Uh, I was walking ahead of my friends and they were walking behind me and I turned around to say something to them and boom. Stepped right off the curb and hurt myself. So, I'm going to run and get my scrubby because I can't find it. So, give me one second. Ugh. Okay, so this is like those scotch Brite pads that you can buy for your kitchen. Uh, this is just some that I ordered from a store a couple years ago when I was doing faux finishing. So what you can do is just those green scrubby pads. You just cut one up and you can use that to transfer your foil or you can use a small nail brush or just some sort of of a really coarse scrubby. Thank you, Denise, it was so much fun. Thank you, Georgia. It was so much fun to wear that wig. I can't even tell you, I felt very sassy. Very sassy. I wanna make sure this is not still warm. Feels pretty good. All right, so what you're gonna do is lay, I'm gonna cut some of this off too. I don't wanna mess with the whole thing. I'm just gonna cut me a section. And I'm just gonna lay this pattern side up. Don't put it like this. You want it pattern side up. I'm gonna lay it right on top of my canvas. Press it down a little. And then I'm gonna use this to just scrub onto my canvas to help transfer and stick that down onto the canvas. Now you can take a little peek, see how we're doing. Oh look, the pink is showing through. And the reason it does that is because of the texture of the canvas, because you know it's like got valleys and peaks. So if you don't want the peak, the pink to show through, you might want to paint your uh, before you put the size on, paint your um, bunny black. That way it will just sh uh, show black through. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. It's gonna be what it is. So I'm just gonna scrub, transfer that onto my canvas. I might use my fingernail a little bit too. I'm notorious for that. Oh, it's still cute. Still super cute. I'm gonna just use my fake fingernails. They're really my fingernails, they just have gel on them. This, that'll help kind of get in the um, 
crevices of the canvas, the dips, the valleys. Just kind of scrub that in. If I had a brush, like a nail brush, it would probably be easier because those bristles get down in. But I don't, so I'm gonna do what I gotta do. And I can tell it's transferring by the way it looks on top of the foil. So hang on. Oops, I just scraped that. I just made a mess. All right. So, look. I made a little bit of a mess right there. You can kind of tell it was still maybe a little wet there. I'm going to see if I can't transfer a little bit of the foil on top of that. There it went. And we'll do a little bit right there too, since it's kind of still sticky. So there's our bunny. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. And I didn't do too bad. You can see that most of that, just, just a little bit of that black still showing. So he is super cute. And I'm gonna use my pen to give him a little bit of outline and we're gonna give him some bunny ears. And then we are going to paint a little pink tail and put some glass on his hiney. Yes, use the stencil instead. Just tape around where you don't want it to go. Yes, you can use a credit card to do that. I'm gonna use my graphic pen. This is Master's Touch Graphic 0.5. And I'm just gonna go around the outside edge of my little bunny and add some lines, short strokes, dot, dot, dot. The foil only sticks where the glue is. So you don't want to foil Anywhere but where you want your pattern. So we're just outlining our little bunny. We're going to give him some whiskers. And I'm going to use that pink. I should have saved some of that pink. Hey, Cloma. I should have saved some of that pink, but I didn't, but that's okay. Thank you for the stars. I'm gonna use a little bit of that pink and give him a tail. Then we'll, we'll get that dry and then we will. I would wait like 30 or 40 minutes, maybe even an hour, Phyllis. Don't rush it, just put the glue on, go find something to do, go watch a television show, something for an hour, and then come back. You want it to dry completely clear. I just kind of rushed mine because, you know, we're live. So we, it's not like we could just uh, walk away from it. So I'm gonna put a little pink on his little booty, honey. And then I'm gonna blow dry that. And we'll put another little coat. Isn't he cute? And the resin is really going to make it pop. So we're going to put another coat of paint. Look. Ta-da! A little more pink on his tail. <coughs> and then we're gonna do a little bit of glass. <coughs> Got a little tickle, <coughs> tickle in my throat. <coughs> I know it's the same color as the uh, dragon fruit, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Got fuzzy in my throat or something. <coughs> yeah, she could use any foil, any animal print. 
So I'm gonna dry this again. We're gonna put a little bit of glass on here and then we're gonna resin. Ooh wee. Yes, the cat and the dog would be cute. Right now, I am going to scooch this over just a little. You can still see it. And we're gonna mix a little bit of resin. Now I'm gonna mix, well, I'm gonna use, I thought about using rose gold, but I think it's too purpley for our um, piece. I think it's gonna detract. So I'm gonna use Starfire, which is crystal clear. Uh, not really, Deb. It's just better if you do let it dry fully so that you, um, so that, you know, you don't, like, I made a little boo-boo in him, and, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about that. I'm actually going to put a little bit, absolutely, Christine, do what you want. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the edge since this is such a small little bunny tail. And we're gonna add in, trying to find some glass that would be con conducive. Just a few little curved edged pieces of glass so that the pink shows through. There you go. So that the pink shows through, I'm gonna use some smaller little tidbits. Is that better? And then I'll pile up on top. Clear will always let the paint color show through. So if you don't have the color glass you need, just paint whatever color and then put clear glass on top. Thousand percent. All day, every day. So I'm just adding a few little nuggets to give his tail some dimension. And then we are going to add a little bit of resin. And that, what I mean, when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. I'm literally going to make probably half an ounce and that is probably gonna be too much for this one little canvas because we only have a teeny bit of glass. Now I actually had this too. Uh, I, did, I decided to use glass, but you could totally paint this white or pink and use that as his tail. You could add some, uh, you know, something to his neck, something to his ears, anything like that. Think outside the box. You do yours the way you want. I'm going to keep mine super simple, but I would, if you do yours different, I would love, love, love to see your variation. So let me mark my cup. I'm thinking, I know a half ounce is gonna be too much. <clears throat> so I, I'm gonna go with a quarter ounce. So I'm gonna make an eighth of an ounce of hardener. And watch me, this won't be enough and I'll be mad at myself. And an eighth of an ounce of resin. But I really feel like it's gonna be. Oh, that would be so cute. You could use actual jelly beans. As long as you cover them completely. Yes, use a wider canvas and put some jelly beans down on top. That would be super adorable. Gotta see that. Whoever does that, make sure you post a picture. So I'm gonna get my gloves on. Isn't he cute? I love him too, he's so simple. Simple as can be. So I'm gonna get some gloves on and we're gonna pour resin. So I've got this cup. I'm gonna put my hardener in. Just a teeny, weeny, 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 weeny bit. <gasps> Slow down, girl. What is happening? My resin was slinging around the outside edge of my cup. 
like Spider-Man was in control or something and spinning his web. Okay, so there's my hardener in that cup. And we'll do resin in this one. Then we'll combine them. Let go of my finger. So we'll do the resin. Go slow. When you're mixing this small of amount, you want to really go slow so you don't overdo it. Oh, I need a smidgy more. All right. Yeah, it was like these cups came from Amazon. They're just um, uh, one ounce measuring cups, mixing cups. So I'm gonna pour part A into part B, resin into hardener, hardener into resin. Doesn't matter which way you do it. Just combine your two liquids into one cup. Make sure you get it all. Don't leave any of it behind. And don't drip it on your canvas like I just did right there. And we're gonna mix this for, th yeah, static in the cups. That's pretty funny. I was like, what is going on? So, let me know. Okay, we're gonna do this for three minutes. So if anybody has any questions, uh, Catherine, or uh, if anybody's here who can time me for three minutes, I'm going to just stir gently. Sometimes I do too, Jackie, and I always know that if I make a boo-boo, y'all are going to laugh at me, so that would be okay too. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I was doing a large canvas, like for a customer or something. There ain't no way I would do that. I'd be scared to death. So, three minutes we're going to mix, so I am available to Chitty Chats. Yeah, they do actually have a small set of these cups at Hobby Lobby, but I buy mine by the thousands, so uh, thank you, Phyllis. So, I get them from Amazon. Super cheap. <clears throat> Oh, goodness. So this is also going to make the um, foil and the pink really pop. So I hope. Oh, Alexa is timing me. <laughs> Denise, the pen is, the brand is called Master's Touch. That's a Hobby Lobby brand. So you're going to go to the art department where all the pens and markers are at Hobby Lobby. And it's called a graphic needle drawing pen. And it's black, size 0.5. And Edie, the adhesive I used is uh, sold by Rima at Walls and More by Mimi.com. So you can buy the adhesive and the foils there. She also has a Facebook page of the same name. I always feel like when we're doing this small amount of resin. <laughs> That's funny, Gina. That, you know, we shouldn't have to do mix for three minutes, but I just do it anyway because, you know, first thing you know, it would be... Uh, no, Christine, I do not do stained glass projects. Hey, Debbie, how are you, boo-boo? Uh, Mary Beth, I pop my bubbles with my heat gun or my torch. If your resin is super cold, if it's cold in your house and your resin is cold, it will create more bubbles as you're mixing. And if you stir it too fast. I don't know if you've noticed, but I stir slow. I'm not mixing it really fast. I'm not like beating it to death. So slow, stir really slow. And you want to um, make sure your resin is room temperature and uh, you should be fine. Then you'll, you're going to use heat, a heat gun or a, a kitchen torch or something to pop the bubbles on your canvas. So I've not found a dress yet. I've ordered several, waiting on them to be delivered, and I will return the rest. <clears throat> 
Becky says she broke a translucent blue plastic party cup in half and filled it with purple Easter grass. Oh, that sounds adorable. That sounds adorable. Uh, Cheryl, you can order it anytime you want. It's rose gold and or we use on the butterfly, we use rose gold and starfire. You're welcome, Gail. Hi, Sylvia. Welcome, love. Then, Mary Beth, if your torch isn't working, you're either using your resin too cold or you're putting um, the, your, your resin is too cold. Can you please put the address in the comment for the paper and glue? Somebody already did, Judy. It is Walls and More by Mimi. M-I-M-I, -I, but it's been posted several times. But I will add it to the very top of this page when we're done here. Thank you, Gail. Okay, so time is up. So we are going to drizzle just on our little booty. Our little bunny booty first. Make sure our glass is secure. And then we're just going to dump the rest onto our canvas. And then I'm gonna use my hand. Hang on. I'm gonna use my fingers, these gloves, I opened, instead of opening the box that somebody blessed me with that is the right size, I opened this box of gloves that are made for Jolly the Green Giant. They're way too big. It's driving me crazy. So I am just going to spread the resin across, and you can see how it starts to really pop. I'm going to spread it across my canvas, make sure it's all covered really nicely. It looks like it's covered really well, so I'm gonna go around my edge. and <laughs> that My finger is right there. It's like an inch and a half too long. Go around my edge just to kind of create that dam. Make sure nothing's rolling over and make sure my edges are done nicely. Now I'm taking these silly gloves off. All right, so I'm gonna take these gloves off and I am going to use my heat gun, the same gun I used for drying my paint. Well, I have some mediums, but for some, well, I bought, uh, or I actually have, the well, large is what I normally use, but I bought extra large for my, for my kits so that I would make sure that they fit everybody. And um, they're way too big for me. So I'm using my heat gun and just running it across my canvas and I can literally see it popping the bubbles, all right? Alternatively, instead of using this, you can use a small creme brulee torch, or I like to use this bad mama jama because I do multiple pieces of art at once, and I do large pieces. So um, uh, you can use the smaller kitchen version of a pro or a, um, a propane torch, and that helps pop bubbles too. The big thing about that, so you just wanna run it across once or twice really quickly. You don't wanna focus your heat onto your canvas in one spot, and you don't wanna let the flame of that torch touch your canvas either. So here's what we ended up with. Hang on, it's so cute. Look at our cute little bunny. Oh my goodness. I love popping the bubbles too, Marilyn. It's so satisfying, isn't it? So I'm gonna turn him and get a little close up so you can see that the pink from his tail is showing through. You could literally just paint that white if you wanted to, but he is so stinking cute. You could put a little flower or something on his ear, a little bow, anything you want. I'm gonna keep mine 
just like this, just simple and easy.